Welcome back. We have arrived at Larry Chester's house. Because the Abbe recommended that we speak to him about several topics related to this area and its history. I guess this is his car. That must be Chester's car. Is this license plate important? No, it doesn't look like we can look at it. Can I make a note of anything? I won't be forgetting that color soon. I don't need to write down Larry's license plate number. Okay, okay. I guess so. It's the front door. That it is. Hello. May I help you? I hope so. The name is Knight. Gabriel Knight. The Abbe at Rennes le Chateau recommended you as a Templar scholar. Did he now? Yep. He said, go talk to Larry Chester about the Templars. And then he said, and let me know what you think. Well, in that case, you'd better come in. Can I get you some tea? No, thank you. Well then... What can I do for you, Mr. Knight? Well, you could tell us about a lot of different things, like the Holy Grail, or the book he's working on, and the town, and the Templars, and the treasure. Well, we'll start on the left, I suppose. Madame Girard mentioned that the Holy Grail is sometimes linked to the Templars. It is, yes. In many of the early Grail legends, the Knights were described as Templars. Wearing the white mantle with a red cross. She said something about them actually finding the grail in the Holy Land. Do you think that's possible? Yes, I do. Um, could you elaborate? So you think the Templars found the Holy Grail in Jerusalem and brought it back here? Let me put it this way. When the Templars were founded in 1118, there were nine knights. Their stated purpose was to protect pilgrims on the road. But for years they did nothing of the sort. They were given quarters in the Temple of Solomon by King Badouin himself. There they stayed, and there they excavated for nine years. Then, in 1128, they changed completely. They returned to Europe and began recruiting. Their wealth and power grew on an unprecedented curve. So you... you do think they found the Grail? I think you're taking the legend of the Grail a little too literally. As with many things of the Middle Ages, it was often wiser and safer to speak in allegory. What's the Holy Grail an allegory of? I have a feeling that will come to light sometime in the next decade. Any reason for that? I guess not. The Abbe mentioned that you're working on a book. Yes, I'm a historian. And you're writing about the Templars? No, oh, exactly. This area is rich in Templar history. That's why I thought I'd come here to write. It's a kind of sabbatical, really. A sabbatical from what? I teach at a prep school in Manchester. There's quite a lot of British people around here, aren't there? Is there any reason to think the Templars left something here, specifically? It's not unknown that the Templars were digging in the region. They claimed they were mining the old Roman gold veins, but they hired only German workers who couldn't communicate with the locals. Naturally, that led to some speculation. I read in the museum that several of the Templar founders and the Grand Master were from this region. That's true. They also had several bases here and owned a great deal of land. The Chateau de Serres, for example, was built on top of an old Templar fortress. Chateau de Serres? That is interesting. Let's remember that. Why were the Templars accused of heresy? There are many theories, but most scholars agree that King Philip was jealous of their authority. He wanted to confiscate their land and their reputed treasure. 
Unfortunately, the Templars themselves helped him make his case. They boasted of the secrets they'd learned in the Holy Land. Secrets? Mystical secrets from Kabbalists and Arabic astronomers. Of course, to Christendom this was nothing but witchcraft. Those who confessed were released. Those who did not were burnt at the stake, including the last Grand Master, Jacques Molay. And they dissolved completely after that? The Knights Templar were no more, yes. As a fan of the work of uh, Karl Barks, particularly his Scrooge McDuck stories, I know the name Molay well. The Templars had a lot of wealth, right? Gold, money, land. Absolutely. And that's one possibility for the alleged local treasure? The Templar stash? Yes. But... You don't think so? They had warning before their arrest. Perhaps some chose to believe that the church would ultimately protect them, but they had enough sense to move the treasure. To where? There are various locations. Ireland and Scotland have a great deal of Templar history, for example. If the Templars smuggled out their treasure, wouldn't that sort of blow the Grail theory? Perhaps there were some things that were too large or too, uh, shall we say, localized to take with them. No, they left something behind in the long dock. You can be sure of that, Mr. Knight. I thought, uh... The treasure of the Templars was buried under Castle McDuck. Oh, sorry, that's Carl Barks again. Or was that a Don Rosa story? Uh, anyway, it's Scrooge McDuck. Whom I am a fan of, as I have mentioned not just in this video, but uh, numerous times in my uh, Let's Plays. <laughs> nice, his alarm clock is blinking 12. <laughs> Very useful. It's a clock. An alarm clock. Why would I want to do that? I don't know. Maybe if you have OCD, you see a blinking clock and you have to set the time on it correctly. It's the kind of thing I would do, even though I don't really have OCD. He's obviously working on something. Yep, he's a writer, all right. Only writers have this many books. What about people who just like to read? What about Yomiko Ritman? Yep, he's a writer, all right. Larry Chester. He's supposed to be writing a book on the Templars. I don't have anything else to say to him. That painting's about as colorful as Larry himself. Okay. The guy's into maps. What is that a map of? Europe, by the looks of things. Well, France, mostly. Uh, well, it's kind of weird because the the lines on it are a bit weird, but it is actually more than Europe than just France. There's the Netherlands, where I was born, and England, and Germany somewhere on this side. Um. Anyway, nothing important on the map. The guy's into maps. What this is a map of, I do not know. Maybe this area? Yep, he's a... We've covered that. Wait, is that a skull? Yep, he... Yeah. Cannot single it out from the rest of the shelves. Boy, can you imagine the exciting stuff in this guy's files? Um, not really. I can break in. With him sitting right there, yeah, I'm sure that's gonna work. I think he'd mind. I think so, too. Thanks for the info, Mr. Chester. You're most welcome. What is your interest in the Templars, if you don't mind my asking? No, I don't mind. Thanks again. Okay. Um, let's see. Anything else in this area besides the well? There's actually a path down here which leads to... I've pointed it out before. If I 
from the other side, it leads to Chateau de Blanche 4. Which at this point is not so helpful because, well, our bike is uh, at Lady Justice House. But, important to know that this it is possible to walk this way. Let's go back where you can actually see the bike. Of course, since it's real-time 3D, there's not really any reason why you couldn't. Is there anything else behind this house? Not that I can see. A tree. What the hell? That tree must come in handy. It gets damn hot around here. Sure. Um... I don't think that's necessary at the moment. Now, who knows, maybe we'll be hiding behind trees at other times around here? Um, I don't think that's necessary at the moment. I mean, just about every uh, tree gives that message. There's the man himself. That's what I call the lived-in look. Hmm, there is a hole in the window. But it's not a very big one. I was actually trying to look at Chester, but he was apparently looking at the hole in the window. Okay, well, uh, that's his problem, not ours. And this is the back door. This house is hardly big enough for one door. I'd rather use the front door. I don't know, it's just more formal somehow. Now we don't need to go back inside anyway. Okay, um, one place on the map left that we have not visited, which is rennes le -Bain. Which is, if anything, an even smaller town than rennes le chateau Deader than a Bob Dole rally. <laughs> Outdated political references. Yay. Deader than a bub. I doubt there's anybody in there that can help with the case. Deader than a bub. Is that the description for every house in this area? Seems like it, but we parked outside the Sangreal Tavern. Hmm. Must be trying to cash in on the treasure hunting crowd. Appropriate in any case. I can't see in. The curtains are closed. Well, let's go inside. There's no mopeds parked here, so I don't think there's anybody here, but who knows? Maybe there's something of interest. Pay attention to the music. It's another version of When the Saints. There's one in every game. That's kind of a jazzy version, this. Wow, this guy also likes his maps. They got a travel theme happening here. Call me crazy, but my guess is he's the bartender. Hey, how's business? Désolé, je ne parle pas anglais. Okay. Wow, the only person in this game who does not speak English. Oh well, at least there's one. Ooh, the local watering trough. Can't order a drink and get drunk. Unlike a certain Commander Shepard. Reminds me of the Hunt Club. Yeah, although they didn't have crossbows. I might have to use one of these eventually. But for now, I'll stick with my tape recorder and notebook. Thank you. These hexagonal tables were really old rage, weren't they, back in uh, the late 90s? In this area, apparently. How romantic. A guy could do well in a place like this. We'd have to be uh, a bit more crowded than it is at the moment, though. It's a big old sword. Cool. Neat. I already got my knife. This one's bigger. 
a lion-shaped map. Weird. What the hell is that a map off? I have no idea. I got a dartboard. Either they have really big darts here in France or that thing's been played to death. Probably the latter. Either they have... Well, not much happening here at the moment. And not much else to do in this town. Oh well, at least we can say we've been here. Um, can I actually leave this with an arrow somewhere so I don't have to go through the bike animation? Yes, I can. Lady Howard and Estelle are still driving around. It's still nothing we can do with that. So let's head back to town. And that starts our next time period, the last one of day one. 6 p.m. and we'll continue with it in the next video.